I'm out here on the Sumas again, but this time I'm going west towards the freeway. And uh, the water's kind of gross today. <laughs> it looks gross, but it's just because the uh, all the cottonwood trees are shedding their cotton. Turn you around, you can take a look. about a year since I've been here. I think your last season it was a great title. Water's definitely higher though. I was pretty hesitant in coming out here today. I got here and I looked at the bank and it was all muddy and gross and the water looks all nasty. But now that I'm out here, it's awesome. I'm interested to see uh, if there's any carnage going on. If there's any carnage from the uh, the floods in November 2021. See what's changed since last time, if anything. We'll see. If there's anything cool, I'll uh, I'll shoot it and show you. So it opens up quite a bit on this section. Actually, I'll turn you to see where the dikes were reinforced uh, during the floods last year. And then you can see it built up quite a lot, actually. Quite a lot. Yeah, so it definitely opens up out here. The wind kicked up a little bit, but it seems to have died down. No problem. It's okay. And on we go. I was wondering if there's going to be some blockages here, considering the amount of water and stuff that flowed down through here last year. I'm surprised that there's not more trees everywhere. Man, man, today I'm paddling up, upwind and up currents. <laughs> it's, it's a good challenge. It's getting me all. It works up in a good way. I uh, I always love doing this, getting the hard part over with first, because then you can just cruise and rely on the wind on the way back. It's so much easier. Anyways, I'm having fun. It's a good day. It's nice to see people out on the trail here. There's a trail that parallels the, the river here. It looks like they've done Quite a bit of work on preparing the sections that were washed out during the floods. So that's great. It's always fun waving at people. Checking out the uh, all the dike upgrades that occurred here in the last year. It's crazy. There's so much, so much rock that's been piled up here to prevent what happened before. Sorry about the noise. It's really noisy here. Coming up on the number one. So I just, uh, I wanted to introduce everyone to my new place that I bought on the river here. You can kind of see it. Great spot, location, you know, waterfront property. It's a, it's a fixer upper, you know, but today's market is uh, a little bit crazy, so you got to get what you can get. Uh, I got a pretty good deal, paid about $6.75. You know, so I feel like I did okay. Someone wants to come over for company sometime. You know, feel free. The door's open. And yeah, so are my walls and the roof a little bit too. Turn around and go back and arrive. 
ride the wind all the way back. We go for about an hour or so. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna go past an entire pallet that's stuck up in the, the rockers there up there. Can you see it? From the floods. It's like bits of wood stuck up all in these little channels here. Anyways, need to see. I'm gonna get out of here because it's noisy. I don't like it. On my way back now, I am just rocketing back with this wind. This tailwind is so much fun. You don't have to do anything and you go really fast. <sighs> Weather's supposed to be good this weekend. Whole weekend. Uh, and I'm on vacation. So I'm planning on making use of the nice weather. Probably gonna head up to uh, Chilliwack Lake. Maybe Friday, Saturday. So if anyone wants to join in, more than welcome. Probably gonna go early, get a parking spot, and uh, tootle around. Yeah. In fact, this whole week is supposed to be nice. Uh, there's supposed to be one windy day. I forget which one it is, but I think what day we're on Tuesday. So Thursday is supposed to be favorable wind conditions. So I'm thinking of going up to Rainbow Falls on the east side of Harrison. Always a good paddle. I did it last year and I, I waited a whole year to return. And this is always a good time to do it because uh, the freshet is happening and there's tons of water pumping through that waterfalls. It's quite an amazing sight to see. But as many posts on the Facebook group have mentioned, Harrison is a bit of a treacherous lake, so if you do decide to check that trip out, make sure that your wind and weather all line up uh, with your skill set. Word of warning. Oh, this is nice now. I'm away from the sound of the freeway. what I love about paddling, you know? You can only go as fast as the rhythm of your paddling. I find that kind of helps slow the mind down as well. You get into the rhythm of paddling. As much as I do enjoy a good workout when I'm paddling, it's nice to just go at a nice, easy, steady pace as well. I can't even tell you how many blue herons I've seen today. Probably, probably more than a dozen. I spooked one, I came around this corner and one was standing right on the bank and it scared the crap out of me when he flew away. <laughs> In fact, I think if you go, uh, oh, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Another one just flew away. It's bad I didn't get that on camera. God, spook the crap out of you when they do that. What was I saying? Oh yeah, if you go kind of east towards the Barrowtown pump station in uh, the late season, people see a lot of bears because there's a lot of cornfields that line that section of the Sunax River. So I haven't seen any bears myself, but it would be kind of cool to see, see a bear pop his head out from the, from the bank. And I gotta say, there's tons of berries here too. You could, you could sit and boogie along the bank here and pick berries. Yeah, fill up a whole bucket. You apologize, there's a lot of traffic noise. And planes seem to be forever flying around above me. Yeah, I'm gonna paddle back to my car. I'm gonna paddle back to my car, load up, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next one. Oh, it's me. 
windy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Blowing me around a little bit.